Hello Republic! The amazing journey, it's already on! We all started! But right now I decide to make a deeper analysis of what of what the amazing journey will bring us in the next um, uh, 12 and a half, uh, half days. Already you know that you have to go to um, Victoria, Canada to get the um, uh, permanent energy center and of course you need to go to Peru in Pozo, Colorado to get the um, uh, anniversary decoration. Next to that you want to get um, of course uh, the skins for the um, plane and for the tanks. But right now there is a lot of mathematics behind this and everybody is wondering can I get all the rewards? How much um, uh, how much prestige points do I have to make in the weekly challenge? How to um, how to organize uh, my rewards? Should I take all the energy centers right now? Should I leave them for later? Well, this video it's about to answer to this question. And first of all, let's see a little bit um, about the um, uh, mathematics behind this. Um, uh, this uh, amazing journey. Well, is it possible to collect all the rewards without paying the money? I just made the calculations and time needed to unlock all the rewards without paying 14 days and 5 hours. Time available to unlock all the rewards 15 days because we have 14 days of the um, uh, uh, effective uh, amazing journey plus the last 24 hours when you can only collect the rewards we can put them in the queue to have them there so yes it's possible to um, collect every single uh, item every single uh, to visit every single location on the map without paying and that's an important thing but you'll also uh, need other things uh, in order to be able to unlock all the locations and those are the amazing coins the total amazing coins in the weekly challenge, if you go to 90,000 prestige points, it's 1,200. Um, this is this week and I have strong reasons to believe that this is going to happen in the next week as well. So, total amazing coins from weekly challenges um, during the event, 2,400. Amazing coins from, um, also we can get amazing coins from the um, E-Republic uh, pack, which costs 9 euro 99. Those are 200. However, what is the total amount of coins needed to take all the rewards? 2,270. That means that if you finish uh, the weekly challenges in both weeks, you will be able to do it. But okay, maybe you want to maximize or um, uh, increase the efficiency of your fighting. So, let's do a little bit of calculations. Uh, if, uh, if you are not um, uh, buying the pack, coins that can be missed without the pack, because the maximum you can get is 2,400 if you hit uh, 90,000 prestige points in both weeks. Um, you will only need 2,270, so you can miss 130. And that means the minimum average of prestige points in the weekly challenge you, can, you have to hit in these two weeks is 84,000 um, points. Of course, what you get over 19,000 is not um, uh, taken into consideration because you're not, you don't get amazing coins after that. So, if you're averaging 84,000, um, then you will be able to have enough uh, amazing coins to collect all the rewards. Either you make 84 and 84, or 90 and uh, 76, I guess. <laughs> yes, this is um, how it goes. However, if you're able to buy the pack, which costs um, uh, 9.99 and also gives you access to another round of um, of rewards coins that can be missed if you bought the pack 330 and that means um, uh, your average for for each weekly challenge is gonna be lower because you can um, uh, you can uh, make a little bit of um, economy and in this way um, you can um, in this way you can be lower so average prestige points in the weekly challenge if you have the pack 74,000 you do the rest of the mathematics, but basically what this um, uh, what uh, this image tells us is the fact that you can get uh, if you fight enough, you can get uh, all the um, uh, all the rewards um, without paying anything just by finishing the weekly challenge. Of course, you will have to travel in the game to get those kilometers. The total amount of kilometers needed is somewhere a little bit over 1 million, but that shouldn't be a problem if you um, already go to 90,000 prestige points or in that, um, in that range. Okay, good. Now, everybody's saying, okay, I know that I can do it, but how should I organize my resources? Because... Um, I went for the energy centers, I went for the energy to recovery. Okay, should I take everything now and go all in? Or should I save some for later in order to be able to have also this, all these goodies for 14 days in the second part of the amazing journey? Well, in order to be able to answer to this question is also necessary to make more mathematics. 
And this comes um, the next mathematics, the next um, uh, calculation that I prepared for you. How to calculate how many prestige points you'll gather based on your energy recovery. Because um, this uh, calculation is not 100% accurate, but it's 99.5% .9 accurate. And it's um, uh, gonna give you a good idea of what you have to do. So, how do you do it? Uh, you have to uh, check your current energy recovery, which will be multiplied with the amount of hours left from the weekly challenge. So, right now, let me uh, do my example. Okay, let's go on the main page. So, right now, I'm recovering 172. Okay, 172 is my recovery. Why am I doing that? Because 172 is the recovery in 6 hours, in 6 um, minutes. In 1 hour it's 1720. But each um, each 10 energy gives you 1 prestige point. So basically it's 172 prestige points per hour. And uh, you have to see how much um, how many hours are left from this um, from this weekly challenge. Of course, you are taking a calculator and you start calculating. There are 4 days which are 4 by 24 96 hours plus another 15 hours. Okay, plus 50. That means 111 hours. 111 hours. And that is the uh, rough estimation of how much prestige points you will make. 172 mark 111. That's 19,092 prestige points. Also, you have to take into consideration that every 5,000 prestige points you will level up because this is how um, work, things are working in the Republic basically you level up every 5,000 um, uh, prestige points 5,000 um, uh, experience so in my case it's almost close to 20,000 but let's assume I really, really like I'm starting in a bad location with this and that means free level ups okay so uh, I will um, I will also I will also um, uh, check what is my energy center because whenever you level up literally you get half of your energy center as free energy consider is this like um, like energy uh, bars from a um, uh, gift from your republic so my energy center right now is 11,642 okay 11,640 I will roll work with round numbers I will split it by two so my energy center is 582 Let's go back, 582. Um, yeah, this is, these are the level up, half of my energy center. Okay, so three level ups. <laughs> Multiply with um, 582. Okay, let's do the mathematics. My three, that's another 1746 prestige points. So, from this point on until the end of the weekly challenge, or using only my food fight, I will make at least 1746 plus 19,092. That's a total of 20,838 prestige points. Okay, so the total amount, this, this doesn't take into consideration the epics. So, right now, my total amount of prestige points is um, 64,117. So let's go back over there and um, fill that up. So current prestige points, 64,117 plus the, um, uh, pre the, um, <clears throat> the things that I predict, 20,838. That is um, uh, literally, let's get again the um, calculator, 20,838 plus 64,117. I will get, if uh, no epics and I lose no food fight, too. 84,955 yes that is the total that I will um, uh, um, that I will have over here of course you you will have the chance to fight in the epic battles of course uh, you have to make an estimation because this is the estimation totally without epic battles but maybe around 20% of your food fights will be in epic battles. So, I don't know. This is up to you depending how do you think you'll find epic battles to fight with your food fights. Maybe you're an aviator, therefore you will have more epic battles. Maybe you're in the first division, maybe you have less. You have to um, do this calculation based on your experience. Okay, so for the sake of calculations, epic battles percentage 20%. So, uh, that means... Um, uh, 
we have to multiply the amount of prestige points that we got over here 20,838 with 120 meaning we will get a bonus of um, 20 percent so let's do this 2838 mark 1.2 additional 20 percent that will send me to a total of 25,005 so currently I have um, 64,000 plus 25,005 okay plus 64,117 that means I will end up with 89,122 prestige points so right now right now you have to take into consideration these scenarios if you do all your food fights and you will have no epics in my case i will end up with 85,000 prestige points however if i will find 20 percent epics i will get eight i will get 89,000 prestige points okay what is this telling me this is telling me if i should collect more energy centers or more energy to recover it well, in order to be able to go to get all the rewards, as I said earlier, I need an average of 84,000 um, uh, prestige points in the weekly challenge. Therefore, for this week, I'm assured. So, that is why there is no need to collect additional centers. Right now, um, as you can see, it's during the day, so I'm unlocking um, uh, low, time and, uh, low time locations. But, for example, Lagos, the next location, needs um, that has energy needs uh, 8 hours to unlock however i will unlock it but i will not collect it why because currently at my current energy recovery and at my current energy center there is no reason to do such a thing because i will hit 90,000 anyway but you have to apply this to your case if you however you are at 60,000 or 65,000 that means you need to um you need to unlock more uh, more energy centers and more uh, energy to recovery uh, this 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 um, uh, this calculation has to um, thoroughly be applied to your strategy and in this way doing this very very simple calculation also allows you to uh, to find out um, up to where you can go because um, by now you can, if you if you want to get the, um, the blueprints you also have uh, taken a look of how much is needed to go there how much does it cost and so on so um, being able to estimate how much will it do will allow you to adjust your strategy also very important uh, tips okay so if you're not a player that um, uh, fights a lot if somehow if somehow you are a player uh, that um, okay right now is at 2030 and probably will not aim to go to uh, 90,000 um, prestige points but will stop um, uh, somewhere um, in between it's important too in order to be able to get more um, more fighting and more things for free try to unlock all the energy centers possible why because the energy centers is giving you uh, are giving you uh, free energy bars when you level up. So, for example, right now my energy center is at eleven thousand. If you are able to maximize it to fourteen thousand, for example, then every time you level up, basically you get seven thousand energy, which is seven hundred energy bars, which are good to fighting. If you are able to fight um, that also in epic battles, bang, a lot of um, a lot of uh, prestige points so take that into consideration however if you are already if you are already on the path of hitting 90,000, unless you have a very very strong reason to be number one in the weekly challenge and hit 500,000 prestige points you can uh, slow the pace down and uh, <clears throat> and uh, avoid to collect all the energy recovery and the energy centers why do you want to do that First of all, once collected, every energy center and every um, energy to recover is available for 14 days. Everybody is rushing right now to collect all these things, but in 14 days, easily one or two days after this um, amazing journey will end, they will expire. And the fact that you will be able to still have great energy recovery and uh, great energy center uh, from, uh, towards the end, towards the end of the next period of time will give an advantage because by the time everybody will have the expired um, uh, the expired uh, energy to recover energy centers you will still have them on therefore you will have a better chance of fighting for medals of dealing damage of scoring more prestige points in the weekly challenges that will come after the amazing journey 
Because after the amazing journey, most likely we'll have normal weekly challenges. Where, of course, the energy bars granted after 20, between 20,000 and 40,000 will be as usual 20, not 5, like now. So that is why you want, you want um, uh, some rewards not to be collected. However, however, if your um, if your um, goals and objectives are different, you have to adapt thoroughly your strategy so that you can get the maximum out of event. Yeah, these are this is my my a little bit deep analysis. The main things to remember: if you fight enough, if you get enough points in the weekly challenge, then you can get everything for free. For free, I mean, you don't have to pay for um, for none of these to um, to all of. Uh, secondly, secondly, in order to um, be able to get all the amazing coins that you need, you don't need to hit 19,000 every week. 84,000 is enough if you don't buy the pack. 70, uh, okay, I forgot. 74,000? Uh, no. Yes, 74,000 is enough if you bought the um, amazing uh, journey pack. So, think about this. Apply this to yourself and get the max of the uh, get the max of the um, uh, amazing journey because the amazing journey has just started. We are only in the first um, 36 hours, so it's plenty of time. It's plenty of time to adjust strategies and to go towards what you want. Be it um, uh, be it, um, skins, the skins, um, uh, the skins for the um, uh, for the plane, for example, which are located in this um, in these places, or the skins for um, the tanks which are located in these ones. So, as I said, adjust your strategy, go in the place, uh, in the places that brings you the most benefit, and yeah, enjoy the journey. Thank you very much for um, for taking these advices. Feel free to leave a comment um, in the uh, below uh, section if you want to add something else because the common knowledge helps everybody. And let me invite you um, on Friday, Saturday and Sunday on Clopeo TV to an amazing e-republic anniversary where we will be able to, uh, you will be able to win a lot of um, e-republic packs, 8 packs, a lot of gold, a lot of CC, energy bars, um, uh, uh, treats, amazing coins of course we'll have a um, 14,000 gold pyramid on saturday um uh, 1.4 million cc pyramid on uh, friday and sunday next to other amazing prizes waiting for you on the weekend also on um, twitch.tv slash club and as usual have an amazing journey club crew